In the last episode of this series, we learned how you can use searches to move fast and precisely through the whole breadth of a file. Today, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into how you use search within uh, VS Code Beam. So let's try searching for energy in this sheet energy file. You can see that if I type uh, slash energy to look for the energy word within this document, both energy with uppercase and energy with lowercase get highlighted. So if I do enter now, you can see how I go, can go through all these matches but this may not be what you want. So by default, the way that searches work in Vim in regards to case sensitivity is that if you use lowercase letters like I just did, uh, uppercase letters will be also matched. But if we use uppercase letters like this, energy, you can see that only the ones with uppercase are now matched. And that's because when you use uppercase in your match, VS Code Vim is going to change from ignoring the case to actually being case sensitive. Okay, so we've seen how by default, if you use energy with lowercase, it matches everything. If you use energy with uh, uppercase, it only matches the uppercase. So how do you do to search only for energy in lowercase? If you want to do that, you can provide an additional flag to the search pattern. So you can do backslash C uh, for case. And now whatever I type after this is going to be a case sensitive search. So if I now type energy, you can see how only the energy in lowercase gets matched. This can be very useful because in this case, we just wanted to look at the energy property and not at the ship energy. The power of search within VS Code Beam isn't limited to case sensitivity and case insensitivity, but you can also use or harness the complete power of regular expressions to find matches within a document. So for instance, let's say that I want to find all the function calls in this particular document. A way that I can do that is by using regular expressions. So I could, for instance, try to find things within parentheses, like a collection of arguments. And in order to do that, I can do space, I can escape the starting parents, I can uh, put a dot for any character, a uh, dollar for an O or more times, and then close that with a closing bracket, and then you can see how I'm matching all those um, functions, definitions and, and function calls. So anytime that I have a, a bunch of arguments inside parentheses, I, I'm finding that through this regular expression that I've just defined. So using these regular expressions can be very helpful at times. In my experience, I don't use regular expressions for uh, searches as much as I use them in combination with uh, more powerful VS Code Bing commands like substitution, what you use when you want to substitute a string for another one, or for uh, the global uh, normal commands that allow you to perform arbitrary text changes and arbitrary commands based on matching a specific pattern. And in that case, using regular expressions can be very helpful. We're not gonna see that right now, we will see it in the future, but for now, it will be useful for you to know that whenever you're using searches, it's just not strings that you're searching for is just not exact matches but you can harness the power of regular expressions and to wrap this up uh, we're going to create a custom mapping for clearing the highlights after we've been searching something so remember in the previous episode we did uh, find like something like this energy and now you can see that every match gets highlighted and if i could go let's say that i want to add a new method here hello you can see that everything still remains highlighted. And that's something that we may not want to have there. So we want to clean it up. Probably as soon as we find the search and we move whatever we want to move, we can just use this uh, colon no HL, which means no highlights, but that's our to type. So let's create a custom mapping for that. So if you remember about mappings, we could go to preferences, open user settings. Here we type vim dot and this, uh, we're gonna use this in a normal mode binding. So we go here to normal mode key binding. And you can see that I have added such a command already. This is a command that I use to clean my highlights. In my case, I'm using the leader forward slash, just like we start searches with the slash. I use leader slash to just clear those search highlights. And as you can see here, these custom mappings are slightly different to, to the ones that we've defined before. Instead of having a before and an after property, where you have before mappings that expand to after mappings, we have uh, a series of mappings defined by before, that's what you type, 
and then that gets bound to a command. And here you can see a list of commands. In this case, it's just one single command that is a no highlight command that we've been previously typing by hand. Now we can just do leader slash, just like we use slash for search, and those highlights will be clipped. So if we go back to ship energy here, uh, now you can see that if I type energy, for instance, and I search for energy, all these highlights come here. If I do the space and uh, forward slash, which is my leader key, everything gets cleared. So this is much nicer than typing four characters, yes, leader forward slash, and everything will be cleared.